All right, so the child in this video has what's called inspiratory strider, which is that whistling sound you hear during inspiration. The most common cause of recurrent or chronic inspiratory strider in kids is what's called laryngomalacia. So some tissues like the epiglottis and other tissues above the vocal cords are formed a little differently and it causes them to collapse down or be more floppy during breaths in. When they collapse down, there's less space for air to move and that results in this whistling sound. It occurs in about four in 10,000 infants and it presents in the newborn period, but usually gets worse around four to eight months of age. For mild cases, it will resolve as the child gets bigger and usually symptoms are gone by 12 to 24 months. Referral to ENT for recurrent strider is pretty common and if it happens, they'll usually do what's called a diagnostic laryngoscopy where they basically just take a camera and look at the larynx or look at the vocal cords and all those tissues to see if there is evidence of that collapse or if it's something else causing the strider. Most children do well in this self-resolves, but 10 to 20% will require surgery, which is called a supraglottoplasty, where they sort of trim the tissues down in the upper airway to make more space for the air to move. 